guys, it's Selena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my holy grail full face of makeup. This is going to be everything that I just absolutely love. Never does me wrong. Over the years, I've just found that these are the best that work with my skin, that stay on all day or night. Whatever I'm doing, it's just going to work for me. This video has been a long time coming. I probably should have filmed it at the start of my channel, but... It's finally here. This is going to be my full face of Holy Grail makeup. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm so excited to share with you my Holy Grail products. Let's go. All right, so obviously I've done my brows. I've just filmed an updated brow routine. So if you want to go and watch that before this video, the next step for me would be to moisturize, but I've already done that. My Holy Grail moisturizer is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. The consistency of this isn't like a typical moisturizer. It's, yeah, a gel. It's a water-based water, water -based gel. When I wear this underneath makeup, my skin always looks plump throughout the day, really hydrated and moisturized. So I always start out moisturizing my skin before applying primer or anything. So my Holy Grail product to prime my eyelids is the Tarte Shape Tape. I just find this one perfect. I do have the MAC Paint Pot in Soft ochre in ochre or soft ochre i can't remember what it is i just find this a perfect base it covers all my veins in my eyes and it's just really full coverage and just covers everything up so it's a perfect base for the i look crazy but it's a perfect base for the eyeshadow i'm just going to bounce that into my skin with a beauty blender also that was in the shade i think fair which is the complete wrong color but i have heard that if you apply a really um light base underneath your eyeshadow your eyeshadow stand out more so i guess that works. So once I bounce that out and there is no creasing, well there shouldn't be, always make sure there's no creasing before you set them. I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder and I'm just taking that on a Real Techniques contouring brush. It's just perfect, it just hugs the eye socket. We are not adding a lot of this, I really don't like the feeling of like a really tight eyelid, so just a little bit and then patting it on and then just using the excess to set it. My holy grail eyeshadow palette is the Chi Chi Aphrodite. I say Aphrodite, but I'm pretty sure it's Aphrodite. Mum, well, that's what mum told me. It's just this amazing palette. I'll link my first impressions slash review down below where I tried this out for the first time and, well, obviously I loved it. Yeah, it's amazing. Every color that I love is in here. It's got your mattes and shimmers. I don't need to say anything else. Go and watch that video. I was blown away, so... Yeah. But before I go and apply my eyeshadow, I'm going to apply these little eye masks. I got it from Mecca Maxima, but this is the brand Mecca Cosmetica. These are like little jelly things. It's my first time trying them, but I love doing this kind of thing for my skin. They're sparkly and everything. Now that, that's extra. You have to prep your skin for what it's about to go through. So when I go out, I really like to feel comfortable. I'm all about comfort. Sometimes I just like going out with a simple eye and then something really cool on the inner corner and then a big beautiful lash. So that's the look I'm going for today. I'm just gonna apply some beautiful oranges on my eye, do a nice wing, lashes, something on the inner corner. I'm taking this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm gonna grab this shade here. There is no names for these shades, but if you can just see, it's that one right there. Okay. Pack it all over this brush. This brush is perfect for a transition shade and I'm just going to start on the outer corner and then just kind of just pat onto the crease area. I love this palette because it is drugstore, it is cheap and you get amazing eyeshadows and so many of them too. Like it's, it's honestly a joke. I don't get it but yeah. It honestly beats the modern renaissance palette for me like that used to be my holy grail not anymore i'm just gonna pack it all over the lid with that excess and then i'm just gonna further blend just the tops okay now i'm taking this nude by nature eyeshadow brush and i'm going to go into whoop, this one here it's a deeper orange and i'm gonna pack it all over my brush look at the pigmentation though amaze and I'm just going to start at the outer corner again and work my A, work my A, work my way in. And then kind of blending it out. See how beautifully it just lays down into the transition shade. Okay, with that same Nude by Nature brush, I'm just going to go into this color here and just pack that on to that Nude by Nature brush. Starting really closely to the inner corner this time. And then into the crease, taking it down to the inner corner, back to the outer corner. So I don't really want to go past these colors. I'm really happy with the color. Um, I might even just go back in with that transition shade and then just blend out those edges. 
so it's just like beautifully blown out Okay, so I'm shutting this palette for the time being. We will be back. I really don't want to take these off, but the time has come. We will meet again. I'm definitely going to purchase those again. They're amazing. My eyes feel so hydrated. And can you just see how it's laid out that perfect line for my wing and the under eye shadow? Love it. All right, so moving on to winged liner. My holy grail liner to do the wing is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. This is one of the only liners that last all day on me. As you can see, when you do your wing, you're going to get that really precise line because of that felt tip. So I like to start right on the edge of where my outer corner is. And I'm just going to meet, keep looking back. And then I'm going to join it up. To my eye and just quickly fill in that. So I want to be flicking a little bit more upwards. And that's about as far as I want to go. And then I just trace my lash line right to the inner corner. My little trick now is to go back in with that same concealer I use for my brows and I just grab the little BYS brush and then I'm just going to trace underneath it to make it really sharp. So a lot of people like to go ahead and put their lashes on and do their mascara but I like to do that at the end because I like to set my face. Um, I don't want to have any chance of my mascara running so I do that later on in the video. So I'm going to spray my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is a really good base as a primer so just going to do that. The next Holy Grail product I add in is the MAC Strobe Cream. This is in the shade, I think it's gold light. I love this product because, well I'm sure you can already tell, I love looking really moisturized and obviously glowy. I'm just going to buff that into my face with the Zoeva Defined Buffer Brush. I buff this into my face everywhere basically. I like to take it all over and then next I will add in a pore filler. Like can you see the radiance it's giving me? <sighs> love this. It's really nice especially in flash photography. Like your skin just looks beaming. You've really got to take care of your skin. A lot of people just forget about their skin and just add a whole heap of makeup. But if you don't have a good base, then your makeup's not going to look good. So for a pore filler, my holy grail product is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This stuff is amazing. It hands down beats the pore professional by benefit. You only need a tiny, tiny bit because it really, really reduces your pores. I lay that over the top of that strobe cream just on my nose and... On those bits of my cheeks where I really show my pores and like you can literally visibly see my pores just disappear with this product so love it and it makes my skin look like all right, so that's the priming process done and dusted. Now I'm gonna move on to foundation. It's really hard to pick out of these two, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in shade eight golden neutral or the Estee Lauder Double Wear in shade Cashew. Both amazing products. The reason I love them so much is they stay on no matter what. Like I could literally survive anything and these would still be on at the end of the day. The only thing about these is they're a tad drying for my skin. As I said, I do have dry skin. So I just like to add in a drop or two of the L'Oreal True Match foundations. I have shade Honey and Golden Amber. I like to add in a few drops of those to these foundations. But for today's video, I'm just going to take the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I love this product because it has this really cool doe foot applicator. And it's really, really full coverage. And then I'm going to add a few drops of the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in shade Golden Amber. And as I said, the reason I add in a few of these drops is because the Clinique Foundation is a little bit drying. So I kind of get the best of both worlds. I get the matte finish, but a little bit of dewiness in it with that True Match added. So I'm just going to bounce my Beauty Blender over those two products. And can you just see that finish it gives me so radiant and I find it so satisfying how full coverage it is I like adding a lot of foundation as you can see <laughs> but I just think it lasts a little bit better throughout the night whereas sometimes when I've added a thin layer you kind of start to see through the foundation I'm really trying to avoid
All right, so that is blended out to perfection. And as you can see, you've got that beautiful luminous glow going on. Love that. So with that done, I'm going to move on to my Holy Grail Concealer. And that is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the shade Light. And I love this one because it's not drying. The Touch Shape Tape is great for a base on the eyelids, but it's too thick and drying for my under eyes. So I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me first. And I add it in these areas. I also have the NARS Radiant Creamy, but I find that one too drying too, so I just pop a little bit under here. Just blend that one out with my Beauty Blender. It's got enough coverage to cover the purple tones, but it's not really thick where it's drying gluggy because I do have so much foundation on. I don't really want to be adding more and more onto it. Alright, so this is the time that I will go in with the Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Gloss. So I go in now because it gives enough time to plump my lips before I apply my lip liner and that kind of thing. But basically it's just a gloss you put over your lips and it just stings the shit out of them basically until they get kind of bigger. I mean, I, I think I see a difference. Some people say they don't, but I honestly do. As well as making them really red. But basically I just outline my lips perfectly. You don't really want to overdraw your lips because it does make them really red because it's reacting to the sting. So just go right on top of your lip and within a few minutes they do plump up really big. So my Holy Grail Cream Contour is the NYX Foundation Stick in Caramel. I know it's a foundation stick but I know a lot of contours are just way too gluggy and it's just patchy and that kind of thing. This really doesn't. It just glides onto the skin. I use a little bit of a light hand and I kind of angle it upwards like it's hugging my cheeks. But it's really nice and easy to blend out. And it just makes my skin look nice and dewy. So I just go in these areas and then on my nose. All right, so just bouncing my beauty blender along. I try to steer away from the bottom line of where I've drawn because um, I kind of want that to stand out. So I don't want to blend it away too much, but the tops I'm kind of blending upwards, if that makes sense. <laughs> It's also a really perfect shade for my skin as well. Some contours are way too red toned or they're just a really off color for a contour shade. Whereas this is just that perfect color where it's not too stark, but you can definitely outline what you want. Okay, so for the nose contour, I like to take the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush and I like to use a brush for my nose contour because if I use a beauty blender, it kind of just mixes it all up and it, there's no point in kind of doing the nose contour, whereas this really holds that line. So I can just go and sweep it up and down and it stays as that line without just blending it away. Still want it blended. You don't want to have those two lines going down the nose and it's really obvious, um, but this just keeps the shape. I like to blend it up into the eyeshadow as well. Okay, so with that done, I'm just going to go over the under eye concealer just to prep it for the baking process. I don't want to set any lines or wrinkles, so that's why I just go over it really quickly. And my Holy Grail baking powder or just setting powder in general is the Laura Mercier, I think it's just loose setting powder in translucent. You honestly can't beat this. Apparently it's discontinued. Someone please tell me if that's true. And what I love doing is I dip my beauty blender into the powder and then bounce it underneath my eye. And I like to use my damp beauty blender because it's not as harsh as a dry one. Like it really just soaks up into my skin. As you can see there, it just soaked right up and just sets it beautifully. Setting the chin, kind of just setting the areas where makeup does generally come off. down my nose, starting low and working my way up to the tip. That's how you get that effect of a smaller nose. And then what I love to do is just take it right underneath that contour line, just to bring it out a bit more. You don't have to go all the way, but I kind of just use excess. And then just lightly tap it, although we will be sweeping away. And I just set my smile lines as well. 
All right, so with that done, I'm not going to let it sit there too long. I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush. This is just a no-name brush from Kmart. And then I'm just going to sweep it away, slash pat, just so I can set the rest of my face. If you can hear anything, it's either BJ screaming his head off on Fortnite. I don't know why, but they do that. And then also my chair just loves to make a little fart noise every now and then, which is great. Now I'm going to take my Holy Grail powder. This is the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC43. You honestly can't beat it. It's so full coverage. It covers everything. It sets the face really well. So I'm going to go set my face with that, with a big fluffy brush, which is the powder brush by Real Techniques. This is my Holy Grail bronzer, the MAC Give Me Sun. Can't beat it. Hands down, best bronzer ever. It is a little bit more on the orange side, but I don't mind that. <laughs> and I apply it with the Zoeva 106 powder. It just says powder. It doesn't say brush, just powder. So I like to tap this starting at the outer perimeter of my head or hairline. Um, and I start at the outer perimeter of my ear. And then just following that contour line. I bronze before I contour. Apparently you have to do one before the other, but I don't really know which one. I always find bronzing before I contour just looks the best. So just hugging onto that cheekbone and then sweeping back and forwards underneath here. Just be careful when you're going on your forehead. Alright, so I'm looking pretty bronze. I'm just going to go in again with another bronzer. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. Looks like this. Now, the reason I add this over the top of the other bronzer is because this has like a really beautiful luminous glow. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that over the top. Even though I'm going to add highlight and all that. I don't know. I just, I just like doing it this way. <laughs> Alright, now to powder contour. And my Holy Grail powder contour is the Hula Benefit Bronzer. The colour of this isn't my favourite, but I haven't found anything else that beats it. I just use a really light hand because it sometimes looks a little bit red on my skin if I add in a lot. But I'm just going to really lightly just outline my cheekbone and then the jawline. I really like to outline that jawline. And then the excess I just sweep over my forehead just lightly. And then with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and yes I know this is supposed to be for the eyes, but I like to use it for my nose contour because it's nice and fluffy and it's not going to make a really stark line. And I just dip it into that Hula Bronzer, tap off the excess really well, and then I'm going to just angle it this way. Starting at the top, and I'm just blending it into my eyeshadow, bringing it down. See how it's made a line, but you can't see where it stops or starts? I mean, you probably can hear, but that's the point. But then it just blends out really nicely on that side. So I'm gonna do the other side. I don't really like to add a lot because I hate the look of like two lines going down your nose, but this brush gives it that perfect, subtle look. Okay, with the bronzer and contour done, I'm just going to add in my favorite banana powder, which is the W7 banana powder. This is like $4, guys. It's from Chemist Warehouse. I think it's like their brand kind of makeup. And it's amazing. Like, I've tried a lot of banana powders. Hands down, this is the best. It just blends away easily. It doesn't leave like a really stark yellow. It just kind of cleans things up. I use a tiny a little bit. And I just drag it underneath just to clean up. Underneath the eyes. And the middle of the forehead just so I can get that nice bright bit of the forehead in the middle because I love that look and then what I like to do is take a little tiny brush this is just a Bajuris brush but it's about 100 years old so you probably can't buy it anywhere and I just like to drag that banana powder down the bridge of my nose to kind of pretend that that's how thin my nose is so without letting that sit there too long I'm just gonna sweep it away Now to add in my Holy Grail blush, this is the MAC Warm Soul. It's a warm pink and I just like to add that right on. It's got like gold reflex in it, so once again, the glow is there. So with that all done, I'm just going to continue on with my under eye shadow. I'm just going to take this Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader and I'm going to tap into this shade here again, the start shade. 
just kind of tapping it on first. Okay, now I'm using my little nose contour brush, the base eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to tap in this shade here and going to blend those two together. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, which just looks like this, and I'm going to tap into that dark shade that we finished with before. Starting on my outer corner, I'm going to be real light with this fella. And then going back to that Real Techniques brush and then just going to blend. Okay, so before we move on to doing the eyes and the lips, I'm just going to spray my absolute favorite Mario Badescu setting spray. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. You can't beat this, honestly. Now it's time for highlighters. I have two Holy Grail highlighters. I use them both for different things. So number one is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. I did a review on this one and the Maybelline Master Chrome and I absolutely love both. But this one put a little bit more silver on me. So what I do now is I use it for my cupid's bow, nose, brow bone and inner corner. It's so blinding. I just take a little Real Techniques Ascent brush and I just dab a little bit of that into the pan. And then you just watch how blinding this is on my nose. That's where I start. Like, you just see that? And I love doing this on my nose because it just really stands out. And then a little bit just there. And then I go do my cubist bow. The brow bone. See how blinding that is? <laughs> Other side really lifts up your brows when you do this. And I just apply a little bit on the inner corner. I'm going to be adding something else on the inner corner soon. And my second Holy Grail highlighter is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is in the shade Molten Gold. The description just sums it up perfectly. It is that beautiful molten gold. Like, you just want to eat this. And my favorite brush to apply a highlighter is the Real Techniques Setting Brush. And I just swipe it in the pan. It's so beautiful. And away I go. I love this one to use on my uh, cheek area because it's a more golden shade. And it just blends into my skin without being like that stark. Like say if I use the Ofra Rodeo Drive where it pulls silver on me, it's a bit too stark and it doesn't look as real, I mean what's real here, but because this one blends into my skin it kind of just looks like I've got like I've got wet skin whereas the Ofra kind of just looks like a really stark highlighter. This just blends so well into my skin and it is blinding. Under my chin, to my forehead, just above the brow bone, other side. I'm gonna bathe myself in this. This color is everything. And I go on to my ears, because I love doing that to my ears. <laughs> Almost done, I'm going to apply some mascara, and my Holy Grail mascara is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's the little pink tubey one. And I'm gonna apply this to my eyelashes now. And then to do my waterline, my favorite white liner is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I like to use the Beauty Blender to hold my eye. Just press lightly and pull it. And then I just line my waterline with this. It's a really, really strong white color. And it lasts so well in the eye. And then I'm just gonna apply this mascara to the bottoms. Next up is falsies. My favorite false lashes ever are Huda Beauty in the style Noel. I'll just show you them. I've used them so many times now, but they're amazing. I'm just going to use the duo lash glue to apply them. So always bending the lash before applying. In my opinion, Huda Beauty lashes are the easiest to apply also. All right, now that's done, I'm moving on to my Holy Grail lip pencil. This is the MAC lip pencil in cork. And I love to outline my lips in this shade. It's just amazing. It literally lasts forever. I just start off by drawing across. And then I like to not make a point, more like a rounded edge. And then I just follow the outside of my lip.
And I just overdraw a little bit at the bottom uh, because my lip does flip over. You cannot really see this bit very obviously, but it does make the appearance of a bigger lip. All right, so now I've outlined my lips, I'm just going to join it into the middle. Okay, so now that cork is the dominant color, I'm going to use the shade Oak by MAC. This is another amazing shade. And I'm just gonna add this one into the middle. And then going to blend into that shade cork. Personally, I find that lip pencils last a hell of a lot longer than any liquid lip. So that's why I like to outline and cover my whole lip with a pencil. And this is where I like to add a lighter color in the middle. I'm using the Jeffree Star I'm Nude just in the middle to create an ombre effect, just the smallest bit. And then I'm just going to tap it out with my finger, just staying right in the middle though. And this also creates the illusion of bigger lips. And this is where I go back in with the shade cork and I just draw that little keyhole pout line and then blend it in. And there you have it. And now I'm just going to jazz up the inner corner a little bit. I'm taking the Astralis Metallics little eyeshadow pot in a pearl gem. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner with that little accent brush. And it just makes it really stand out. As you can see. <laughs> If I wanted to add a gloss, I would put the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm over the top of this. But generally, if I'm going on a night out, gloss isn't the best to have when you're swinging your hair around and dancing away because it gets stuck in your lips and that's just the most annoying thing ever. But I'm at the final step now. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Love this one. Sets the makeup to stay on all night. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is my full face of Holy Grail makeup. As I said, everything that I use is just everything that I trust, love unconditionally. Wouldn't know what to do without it. Every time I go out or just want to do a really bold makeup look, I'll use these products. I'll list everything I use down below, including the brushes. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll list my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.